Hey you guys, welcome to my little paintbrush. I'm excited to paint this cup of hot chocolate with you. My name is Miss Cammie, and this is so fun. We get to do this from home together, but remember, Miss Cammie's rules still apply. Let's not be too hard on ourselves. Everybody's cup of hot chocolate will be a little bit different, okay? So just enjoy the process. We're all learning, all right? So let's grab a nice big flat brush and get it wet in our water. I'm just going to swish it around a little bit and drag or tap off the extra water, okay? Now we're going to work on our background first. So I've got this really bright orange here and a nice pile of white. And I just want to start to make a nice kind of corally background color. Now this can be as dark or as light as you want it to be. You just kind of mix those colors around until you are happy with the result, okay? I don't need to mix it super, super well because those streaks as they come off of my brush from unmixed paint will be a fun addition to my canvas, okay? So here we go. We're just gonna start to fill in this background, okay? I'm gonna try and stay outside of my cup of hot chocolate, my cute little mug. Okay, notice I'm just painting along. I like to start on the edges and then move towards my cup, my little mug. That way I can go pretty fast around here and I don't really need to slow down until I get up close to the edge of my mug. Okay, make sure you're using your water. You want to constantly thin out that paint so it goes on your canvas really nice. Don't forget to be wrapping your canvas, okay? You want to go around the edges. That's really important. So you have a nice completed piece. Okay, so let's just keep filling that in, working from the edges in, okay? And just kind of paint in the motion of wherever your cup is. So we're just kind of following that shape, okay? Mix paint as you need to. Load your brush nice and heavy with that paint. Okay, now I'm gonna start to move in close to my teacup. So I wanna slow down just a little bit so that I don't get any inside of there or as little inside of there as I possibly can because obviously we're gonna have a nice turquoise, turquoise cup and so we don't want too much of this bright color in there because it'll fight, it'll fight our turquoise, okay? So I'm gonna come in here, go around my plate. Okay, keep going to my water come up here and go around here nice and easy come down to my little corner notice I'm using the shape of my brush to help me get into these different sections here I'll move to the toe of my brush to get in that little part so this big brush can get into small spaces too, okay? We just have to know how to hold it and whether or not we need to use the flat or the toe. Remember, this is our ballerina, and this is a nice flat brush, okay? Now I'm going to come in my little inside of my handle here. And again, I didn't even have to switch brushes. I could do this with this big brush. It's all just about how you place it on the canvas. Okay, so now our background is filled in, but before I move on, I'm gonna add some fun white streaks around it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and with my brush still having my background color on it, add some white and I'm just gonna kind of feather it in around here. Just kind of fun, swish, swish. You know, no rules here. We're just having a good time, add in a little bit of fun depth so our background doesn't look too flat. So I'll just keep going like this. So we have what's called different values on our canvas. So we have some sections that are this lighter turquoise, some sections that are darker, and those values will really help the overall look of our painting, okay? Just wanna just keep going. 
and it'll help to do this while your background is wet. That way it gives it just a nice blend, okay? Gotta have our paint nice and wet to get that, get that blend. I think I want a little bit more white here. Curve that around, and maybe some right there. All right, I think we are done with our background, so of course we need to give our brush a good wash. So I'll swish it around in my water really good. And I am gonna switch to a little bit of a smaller flat. Again, you guys use what you have on hand. If you only have a small flat, do your whole background with the small flat. If you only have a big one, you could manage the inside of your um, teacup with a big one too, okay? I just have more options, so I'm gonna switch around. So I've got a smaller flat. I'm gonna get it wet now, but I'm gonna do it in clean water. So I have two jars of water here. I'm gonna get my brush wet in the clean water, not the water I just washed my um, coral out with. Okay, so now I'm gonna to start to go around the rim of my cup. So I wanna load my brush with all white paint, both sides, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put the edge of it in my turquoise, okay? Brush it a few times. With that edge, I'm gonna to start to follow the line of my cup, okay? So here we go. Just gonna to start to follow that line. And you see how it has this really pretty fade? It's not like we're just outlining something. It's got this nice, nice fade from this dark turquoise and then it lightens up again, different values. So I'm gonna come over here, go right through that part because our handle's kind of wrapped around the side. Okay, and just I kind of brush a few strokes in for a little bit of fun, a little bit of fun detail on our cup, and you can do that. You can add, add things here and there. Every time I load my brush, I'm doing all white, then I'm adding a little bit of that turquoise. And then I'm just kind of brushing it in a little bit, following the shape of my cup, okay? Get some white on there and kind of you don't have to fill in your whole teacup with white because your canvas is already white why should we give ourselves that extra step when we don't need to right but we can blend in with the white anytime we feel that it needs to happen okay so let's go around the top here nice and steady as we can if your brush is loaded enough with paint, and if your paint is diluted enough, you're not gonna have a problem just swooping across your canvas. If your brush is too thick and sticky with paint, you won't get that nice offload and you might just find that you're just very frustrated. So make sure you are diluting your paint as you go, okay? All right, so we're gonna go around here too. Up and around there. Okay, we'll just follow that around. Nice and easy. Pressing our bristles so they fan out right into our hot chocolate or our tea or whatever it is we are having in our cup today and then wrapping it right there, okay? So, there we go. So let's go ahead and get our handle done. Getting in that water, make sure we use our water. It's super important. Remember, our paint is thirsty. So come around here and do our handle. Loading my brush the same way every time. Okay, super important. And then we'll do that other side. Just follow that around. You know, sometimes we have to go over it a few times and that's okay. All right, more water on my brush. 
Now we just have to do our plate. So I'm going to come down here and just get the edges of this plate here. And this, of course, touches the bottom of our canvas, so this would be a good time to wrap it if you are concerned about that and feeling like you want a nice wrap. Now I'm just going to very gently kind of shadow some of this cup right down here along the base. Put some white on there. I want to have a little bit of shadow where the cup and the plate are coming together. I want to blend some of this better here. Okay, so that section right there is nice and dark, okay, where that plate and cup meet. And then I just like to take that brush and just feather all around. Super fun. And our cup is all in. So wash our brush again. Really good. Now I'm washing it in my dirty water. I want to try and keep my clean water clean just in case I need to dilute some white paint. I'll have a nice clean jar of water to do that. All right, let's move up into our beverage, whatever it is for you. I've got some brown and I've got some black. I'm gonna take a little bit of that black and start mixing it with this brown. And I want a nice, deep, dark brown, okay? So do a little bit of black at a time. You don't wanna scoop up a huge pile of black and mix it with your brown. You'll just lose your brown right away. You wanna do a little bit at a time, okay? And now let's go ahead and fill that in. I'm gonna need some more water on my brush. I can already tell, because look, I'm not able to really fill that easily. I'm having to brush over the same areas over again, so I don't wanna do that. I wanna add some water, loosen up that paint. We shouldn't have to work that hard. It should just go nice and smooth. So get a nice smooth edge here. And up and around, and then it goes up because this, this cup is kind of tipping over a little bit, so we're gonna get a little bit of a splash. And then along here, and along this line, see it's coming in nice for us. Just keep filling that in. Now sometimes our browns are a bit shy and we either need to put a nice thick coat of paint or we have to put two coats of paint, okay? I'm gonna pause right here and switch brushes. I'm gonna go to a round because I wanna get a nice clean um, point in there and then I wanna do our fun little drops coming out of the top. So I'm gonna switch brushes real quick, load it up here, make sure I have that nice rich color, and then I'll come in here and just get that nice edge right there. Fill that in. There we go, notice I Press hard when I want a nice clean line. Now we've got two drops that are splashing out of our cup, okay? Now my surface is a little bit bigger, and so you'll be able to see both of my drops really clearly. Your canvas will end right about here, and so one of your drops will be going off the canvas. So if you look at your reference picture, you'll be able to see that, and that's not a problem. It's just a different size and surface. Okay, so one of my drops is going this direction. So I'm gonna go just make that shape just like that. And then go ahead and fill that in. Okay, no big deal. And the other one's a little bit higher, it's still kind of dripping the same direction, but it's just a little bit higher up. Okay, and then just fill that in. And there we go, We've got a little splash happening. All right, I'm gonna wash out that brush, both brushes actually, because I just, I just stuck that red flat in there real quick so I could move on to finishing my hot chocolate. So I'm gonna wash that out. And let's go ahead and put some eyeballs in. I find that circles are easiest with a flat brush, 
but some newer artists prefer a round, so you can use your round if you want, okay? Just make sure it's nice and thinned out, your black paint, swirl it around a little bit in some water, and thin it out, and then let's go ahead and make our eyeballs. I want some nice big ones. I love the big eyes, okay? Probably because my daughter loves all things with really big eyes. But circles can be tricky. Um, so sometimes we can start a little bit smaller. because We can always add, but we can't take away, right? Especially with our black paint. So we want to be careful with that. Let's get a nice, as round as we can. We're not going to be too hard on ourselves. We're just going to do the best that we can, right? And then over here we'll have another one. Okay, just get the basic shape in there and then I can come back and kind of clean it up a little bit. And don't be nervous about flipping your canvas around if you need to or even taking it off the easel for a minute. It might be easier to get your circles that way. I would definitely be doing that if I could, but right now I gotta work with my canvas in the same position, okay? So if you need to switch it, flip it around, you do that. Okay, so we're gonna try and just get our eyeballs close to the same size. Okay, and we got those nice big eyes. All right, so let's wash our brush out. Let's wash it super, super good because the next step is gonna, the next step with this brush is gonna be glitter, so we want it nice and clean. But I'm gonna flip it upside down real quick and use the bottom like a, like a stamp and I'm gonna get in my white paint, make kind of that nice chocolate chip look on the bottom of my brush. And then I wanna give my eyes some nice, reflective dots. I'm going to do a nice big one and then a little one kind of right on top of it but not touching. And we'll do this side. If your black eyes are too thick with paint right now, wait till they dry. Mine are nice and thinned out so I can do that. And then wipe the bottom of your brush so that you don't stab yourself with some with some white paint. And now let's switch to a detail brush. Get it wet, load it with some black paint. Then I'm gonna put a smile, and I like to put my smile pretty far up and right in between those big eyes, okay? So we'll just swoop a smile in there. Look how cute. Okay, wash that out. We are almost done, you guys. Let's go back to our little round, and we have some pink. And let's just mix a little bit of white with that. Okay, and we want to give us this nice little cup some rosy cheeks here. Okay, so we're going to come down here and just do a nice little circle here. Okay, and again, just the best that we can. Just using our bristles really lightly on our canvas. Okay, there's our one cheek. Then we'll come over here and we'll do another one. This pink is fun play off of all these other bright colors we've got going on in our canvas here. Okay, so let's get those in there. Nice little cheeks. All right. Wash that brush again, super important, but before we switch to a different brush, let's just go up into those drippy uh, hot chocolate splashes and put in another coat of paint up there. We want to re-wet that surface and get another coat in. And then I'll go ahead and put a little bit of white on the tip of my brush and I'll make sure I have a nice highlight at the top of these. Okay. And if you get too much white, you can just kind of go back and blend it a little bit better. Just have a nice little 
keeping the light at the top, right? Because that's where the that's where that light would be reflecting is right on the top of those. I'm running out of this dark paint, so I gotta keep keep mixing it up there. There we go. Okay. And then now I'm ready to switch brushes again. So swish that out a little bit. Now go back to my smaller flat because I want to add some of that highlight into my hot chocolate too. So I'm going to again have to re-wet that hot chocolate surface again. And really quick, I don't have to go all along my edges like I did before really gently because it's already filled in. I just want to re-wet it and then I want to put a little corner of my brush in white and start to blend in just some light up at the top of that. So we're just focused up at the top of our little splash here. Okay. Just keep moving your brush guys. That's the trick to things like this for good blends. Just keep moving it around and go back to your different, your different browns and your whites and add a little bit here and there. Okay, there we go. I might just come up here and just make sure I have a nice highlight in there. That last one was a little bit tricky. I think I like using my flat brush better. There we go. Okay, just about ready for glitter. Let's move to our round flat, or not a round flat, a round brush, <laughs> and get some white paint in it. Make sure it's nice and clean, and let's add a few little highlights here and there to our, our cup. Okay, we'll put one just streaking down there. Maybe one in our handle here. There we go, I like that. Okay, now I think we are ready for our glitter. So, I'm gonna put some glitter on my plate and it's gonna look white. You're gonna think, oh my goodness, I just have more white, but you don't. You have glitter and you wanna make sure you have a super dry, super clean brush. Doesn't need to be really dry, but it does need to be clean. And you want to make sure your background is dry because we're going to load this brush with this glitter paint and we're just going to start to fill in the background all around our mug. And then it's going to start to just sparkle like crazy all around. Glitter makes everything better, I say. It's super fun. Okay. Now you might be thinking, I wanna just glitter my whole canvas. I wanna glitter everything. Well listen, sometimes less is more, okay? So pick a few things to glitter, but pick a few things to leave plain too, because if we glitter too much, when our painting hits the light, it'll just be super bright and distracting. I need a little bit more, because I want to go in with my round brush, and I want to glitter my cheeks. Okay, I like the little addition and I'm gonna put it on nice and thick. So when it dries, it's super sparkly. So if it's coming off white, don't worry about that. It's gonna dry clear, okay? So it'll be a nice sparkly cheek. And then you can add a little bit of streaks of glitter here and there. But remember, not too much because you want your background to be what's super, super sparkly. Okay, wash the brush. I'm just gonna clean up one little part. See right here, came into that white. So I'm gonna load my brush with a little bit of white paint. I'm gonna come right here. I'm just gonna clean up that edge. We should always look for opportunities to clean up our painting and give it our very best every time, right? Okay, there we go. We have a cup of hot chocolate and it's all finished, and now we just need to sign our painting. I'm gonna go ahead and use my black paint with a detail brush, and I like to loosen up my paint, swirl my brush, and find a good spot. I think I'll do it right here. And we're just gonna sign 
our name, okay? And then we are done. Let's make sure we take the time to wash all of our brushes, dry them and put them away, okay? And then when our canvas is nice and dry, we can hang it up and display it for everybody to see. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you guys had a good time. Send me some pictures of your cups of hot chocolate. I would love to see them. We'll see you in the studio soon, guys.